So here's what the um, Birds of a Feather Sessions, the sign-up process looks like. You can see it's just uh, things taped to a board. Uh, they assign a room. Uh, people have made some pitches about um, which sessions uh, they'd like to do so people uh, see if there's any interest in it. Uh, it's more of a selling uh, point on the sessions. What can we do out here? We've got, you know, we were reading, you know, Twitters and Seismics and Facebooks and this and that. It's like lots of company people putting in lots and lots of personal time to make their dreams come true, right? That's pretty much what, you know, this whole Web 2.0 thing is. Whether it's some kids out of college or someone who's been a serial entrepreneur, people trying to make dreams come true of one nature or another. And we were just sitting and saying, well, with all this, you know, brilliance, with all these hours and hours of people working, well, is there something we can all do that not just for our own companies, but for the, the community around us? Just really talking about kind of privacy type things and why they don't want to be exposed and, and then all their frustrations with picture sharing websites where there's 15 different ones and you got to sign up for each one of them and every time you put a picture some, somewhere then you got your whole family has to go sign up and get an account to come look at your own pictures. And, I oh. Whenever people send me one of those things, like my pictures here, and sign up for an account, I don't do it. I'm like, yeah. sorry. <laughs> It was just interesting to listen to these because these were general users. These were just people she picked off the street. I yeah. found. What was it called? It was that um, they, uh, Web 2.0 useful and confusing, okay. or uh, fabulously useful and confusing. And he showed some examples like where they had, um, what's that, the Barber movie, the slasher with Johnny Depp. What's, uh, Barber Snow? The Sweeney. Sweeney oh, Todd. So they had the banner ad at the top. He said the banner ad will generate like, you know, 0.01% click-throughs. But then right below that, they put a quiz about Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. How many movies and what, what has he been in, blah, blah, blah. And that by itself increased the click-throughs by 65%. And it's calling me all the time. And, uh, and it just made it huge. I mean, these, the numbers just like skyrocket. And they start adding. Do quizzes about Rusani and Beth and Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Think we can get somebody to sponsor that? I think so. I'd be like, no. It's pretty cool stuff. So Becky asked me what the coolest thing was I learned today, or I did today. I bought a flip camera. <laughs> but I had some good sessions too. The rock. You rock or you rock on. Rock you. Or, or you rock me. Rock me. We need to look at rock you. What's rock you? Well, they create uh, widgets, it looks like, for advertising. And uh, they get heavily trafficked and uh, for monetizing your website. And uh, they started out at, you know, things for 10 cents per click or for whatever their rate is. And, they're up to two bucks on some things per, so you, they get a lot of traffic. Yeah, what's the coolest thing you did today? I really like, well, yeah, I got one of these, too. <laughs> so now we have, like, what, all of us have one? Yeah. <laughs> what did you pay for it? Sixty bucks. Not bad. No. Um, I really like walking the expo floor and talking to, well, I can't remember any of the names of the companies right now, but I have all their material. Um, and you know, different different companies that help you. <laughs> it's awesome. Never get the double angle. That um, help people like me that don't necessarily develop software, create stuff. So we're looking into a lot of that.